find the tub of doom. More eggs. So yeah, I recently got two more breakout beasts and we're gonna go ahead and open them and see what's inside. I'm gonna start off with this one that has the code. Let me try and find it. 48. Let's just jump right into it because well, we pretty much know exactly how these things go. You open it, you take it out from the slime, you get disgusted, you get grossed out and you feel like, why did I buy this thing? And then you go out and buy more. I don't know. Oh cool, it's one of these useless, you have to cut the tab because I don't know why you have to cut the tab ones. Ah, I forgot how tight these were. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that's some solid green slime right there. It's hatching. I swear it is. Oh, maybe it's because the instructions are in the way. Yeah! I cannot actually seem to get the instructions out. The, uh, little tool that they packed in with it got in the way and, oh, okay. There's the wings and that looks like the Velociraptor. Is this fun? My favorite part of the toy is the cleanup. All right, let me get the instructions out so that we actually know what we're doing. All right, so this one with its little cartoony artwork is Velocivolt, that's what I meant. And this one comes with new wings for the Breakout Beast. I'm not sure if they've been used for the Crystal Creatures lineup. It also seems to come with a torso piece that I do not recognize. This looks brand new. It does have the Game of Thrones style feet. And let's take a good look at those wings. I thought that these were gonna be part of the gimmick, but no, it was the little funnel ones because when they revealed the new gimmicks, and uh, there was a listing on the, the new wing slime drippers. Uh, they didn't actually reveal all of everything. This was one of the first things that were to show at the toy fair. So uh, yeah, that doesn't seem to be the case. It just seems to be a brand new piece and it's got a ton of slime on it. And also you do have the slime blower. Now I'm not gonna do anything with the slime blower right now because these are pretty much useless. All the slime gimmicks Really don't work too well, but let me get everything out of the slime and we will do a fast build. All right, now that I've got everything out of the slime, I'm going to make a point that there's a couple of more new pieces from the set than I had expected. Also, I forgot to put in the toenails to the legs and there's still slime stuck on this, especially on the wings. It was a disaster to get off. But anyways, the new part. So this, I don't seem to recognize as a new piece. If my camera will focus, it did. And uh, yeah, it seems to have a ball socket joint right here. It seems to be much shorter than the ones that were used for the Beowulf, or not Beowulf, what? Beowulf, what am I thinking? Balefire uh, figure. And then also these, if the instructions will hold up, this is very professional. These new ball joint sockets that seem to have a ball joint on the top as well as on the side. Of course, we do also have that new tail piece. And then I also forgot to take a look at both body parts. So this is new and this seems to be new, at least for breakout beasts. So with all the parts set aside, let's go ahead and build it. So here is Velocivolt out of the package and I still have some little bits of slime everywhere but uh, for the majority it seems to be fine and I'm really liking those wings. The ball joints really help. They are much tighter compared to the one from the Balefire figure. In fact, they're a little too tight. It was really difficult to get the ball joints in the wings. I had to try and get them into the arms first but even then that was difficult but at least I can move these around with no problems whatsoever. They're not flopping around or anything. It's way better. Uh, the joints in the mouth seems to be a little loose, but other than that, I think they did a fantastic job with this one. I, I think it's a, a nice update to the wing arm design. And I love the fact that it's got a T-Rex head. I love the fact that it's a glowing green type color, especially with the, the slime, you know, that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, very nice. And yes, that big gimmicky piece can probably just stay off of the beast because it just looks a little ridiculous. But otherwise, 
Very cool. Let's see if I can just launch this in. Ugh, I did it. I did not think I could. It's in there, there's a proof. Ah. I just had dinner and I smell like chicken. Let's open another one. Oh great, it's another one of those. Ah. Ah. Well, as you can see, the colored slime is, um... Oh, it's blue. Oh! Well, that's just soaking wet now, isn't it? That's, um... That's not supposed to happen at all, in fact. Whatsoever. So, um... Yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to take this out and wash it out, because that's not, that's not gonna work out. Alright, so what wound up happening was most of the slime just pulled out. It was too wet, too watery, that I couldn't really do much with it, so I don't have any slime off to the side with me. It is blue slime, and, um... Yeah, that was pretty gross, so I had to wash this out. I actually scooped out all the parts to wash it out, um, and uh, we got Skellifiers. So I am going to build it. These are new pieces, although I've actually had them before. In fact, I think I have the complete set with these. Uh, this is the only one with a flame piece, and it does have paint applications on a lot of the parts, if you could see that with the blurry camera. So you got paint applications there, you got paint applications there, you got paint applications there, and some very nice transparent pink uh, body armor, not armor, body, yes, body, that's uh, words. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and build it. All right, so here's Skellfire out of his very wet little slime, whatever you want to call it at this point. And uh, he looks pretty good. I like the bony texture. His uh, armor, not armor, I keep saying armor. His uh, body has this kind of metallic look to it. And I feel like the tail was supposed to go that way, not the other way, but uh, I got it right now. And uh, yeah, I definitely do like it. It's just unfortunate about the slime. Now, the whole gimmick is you're supposed to put the slime in the dripper and it's supposed to pull out. Yeah, good luck with that. But it is the only one that comes with a flame piece, and I love the temple on the side there, and the, uh, the, the pinkish color really works for this, so... I'm pretty impressed with this. I do like it. So with that out of the way, that is the Breakout Beast figures that I've got. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, don't spend two nits, and I will see you guys next time.